Today, we've got an essential update for you about XRP and its connection to BRICS. We'll also delve into the current state of the market cycle. In the world of finance, history has a habit of repeating itself, so it's crucial to stay informed and understand our position in the market cycle, especially during minor sell-offs. This understanding helps us avoid panic selling and missing out on potential substantial gains. Moreover, there's some fear, uncertainty, and doubt FUD circulating about a new case involving Ripple that originated in California. I'm here to help clarify and potentially dispel some of this FUD. Hey guys, welcome back to Whiteboard Crypto Update. In today's video, we will talk about XRP future. So be sure to stay focused as you surely don't want to miss out on this. If you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications by hitting the bell so you never miss any of our uploads. Please remember this is not a financial advice video. Let's begin with a tweet from Chad Steingraber. He emphasized that market cycles are predictable. From the first Bitcoin having to the third, we've consistently seen a three-year bull run followed by a one-year bear market. Currently, we are in a bull cycle, which is evident from the significant market movements, particularly following the approval of Bitcoin Fs. We're now anticipating Ethereum Fs, which will pave the way for XRP Fs. Looking at the charts, we are just past the Bitcoin halving. If history is any guide, we are on the brink of a major parabolic move in the market. Switching gears to recent legal news, there has been a buzz about the Zakharov versus Ripple case in California. The discussion centers around a decision made by Judge Hamilton on June 20, 2024, regarding Ripple's motion to dismiss the case. The motion was granted in part and denied in part. The crux of the case is whether a statement made by Brad Garlinghouse on December 14, 2017, was misleading and caused an investor, Bradley Shostak, to expect profits based on Ripple's efforts. The statement in question was Garlinghouse's comment on Business News Network where he expressed uncertainty about the utility of other digital assets compared to XRP. He highlighted XRP's problem-solving capabilities and expressed his long-term commitment to it. Shostak alleges that Garlinghouse's statement was false, pointing out that Garlinghouse sold millions of XRP in 2017. However, many believe this argument is weak. The judge's decision to allow the case to proceed to trial seems more procedural than substantive. If Garlinghouse can demonstrate that he holds a significant amount of XRP, which he can, it would support his statement's truthfulness and transparency, as evidenced by Ripple's quarterly reports. This case, therefore, might not have substantial merit. Now, let's discuss Ripple's connections to BRICS and the emerging digital payment platform BRICSPay. BRICSPay is being developed by BRICS member countries Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa to facilitate digital payments for an additional 3 billion users. Ripple has established connections with key financial institutions in these countries, such as SBI, HSBC in Africa, Banco Brazil, and more. This network suggests that Ripple and XRP might play a significant role in the BRICS payment system. Looking at the map, we see extensive Ripple connections with payment providers and large institutions in BRICS countries. This network supports the idea that Ripple is indeed collaborating with BRICS nations. It also suggests that not only Brad Garlinghouse, but these countries as well have a vested interest in XRP. With such strong partnerships and integrations, it would be imprudent to exit the market prematurely. In conclusion, it's evident that Ripple's influence is growing both in legal resilience and global financial integration. The market cycles show us that we are on the cusp of significant movements, and Ripple's strategic connections indicate a robust future for XRP within the BRICS framework. Well, guys, that's all we have for you today. What are your thoughts on XRP? Get involved and let us know in the comments down below. If you guys like this video, then be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Also, if you don't want to miss out on any new future videos, then be sure to click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification under this video so that you're notified the next time we upload a video on the latest XRP and cryptocurrency news. Until the next video comes out, you can watch our other videos about XRP or other cryptocurrencies. Thank you for watching, and we will see you again in the next video. Goodbye.